Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing something super exciting, but I do want to first mention, ignore these. I'm just hoping by the end of this look that these look fire, but they might not. So we're just going to ignore them for now. Just ignore that I have this. I just thought it would look cool. But I have right here the Rem Beauty Collection. I literally have this entire box. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting. But we're going to go ahead and break into this. I'm going to review the items for you. Put them on my skin. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little tired. I am very tired. And it's like 8.30 in the morning. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. If you want to see my honest thoughts and a review and a makeup look on the Rem Beauty Makeup by Miss Ariana Grande, then please keep watching. my little tijeras right here and I'm going to chop this box open. I'm not going to show it to you because it has my address and I don't need anyone creeping up on me. So, Rem Beauty, it just looks like that and I like that right here it says conscious, consciously made, please recycle. Fire. So much stuff in there. Okay, so the packaging, let's talk about the packaging. We have this beautiful, sleek, gray packaging for everything. And they definitely went with that kind of, like, outer space vibes. They have, like, each color is kind of, like, mapped out, kind of how they map out stars, which I think is super cool. Ooh, look at this. That's so cool. This is the matte lipstick. I have these eyelashes. So they all have very similar packaging, except it seems the eyeshadows right here are in white. But they have the same concept with the little, little vibey thing. So I guess like any eye, so this is the eyeliner and the eyeshadows are in white. Packaged in white, whereas everything else is gray. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. I just have my foundation on. Very basic. I'm going to come in a little closer to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyes. So I have this eyeshadow palette right here. This is the Midnight Shadows eyeshadow palette in Baby Doll. So I got the more like neutral colors. They had one that was a little bit more like cool tones. So I just pulled it out and this is what it looks like. That is so cool. It's a plastic material, but it looks like this, and it has the Rem Beauty right there. It looks very sleek, and these are the colors. So I think that these colors are beautiful, but they are kind of basic. But for Ariana Grande's defense, I feel like these are the colors that she does tend to use um, more often. I have this liquid eyeshadow in As If. Right here, it says as if. Ooh, it's so cute. It's like in that pill shape. I'm trying to see what I could possibly do with this with the eyeshadow. Ooh, this is the applicator. So I have two more eyeshadows. I have the, the color Experiment and the color Telescope as well. And these, again, are liquid eyeshadows. This is Experiment. Ooh, that is so beautiful. Wow. Look at that. And then here is Telescope, which I thought would be so beautiful. It's black with just like some reflective, seems like kind of like silver, more on the silver side. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of these eyeshadows for you guys on my wrist. Very opaque. Feels beautiful. Kind of feels like a ColourPop liquid lipstick. I'm sure it blends out beautifully. So those are those three colors. Of course she has many more, but these are the ones that I chose. So we're gonna go ahead and start creating a look. I'm gonna start going into this. Okay, no, there's a little bit of fallout when I blend, but nothing crazy at all. I'm just gonna start very basic. The transition shade. It looks beautiful so far. I'm gonna go ahead and add that underneath as well. Flat shader brush and the lighter shade. Let me 
very nice this is a nice shade it's the lighter shades always tend to be a bit more chalky so this one is coming off a little bit more chalky but let's see I think still blends beautifully but just a little bit chalky but it definitely has some pigment see I added it here and not there so I'm gonna go in with this liquid eyeshadow in the shade as if I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and I'm going to kind of cut the crease a bit with this shade, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I went ahead and added that. Now I'm going to go with a small little shader brush with a bit of this shade right here that kind of matches it. And I'm going to kind of blend that out a bit. Okay, so I actually thought of an amazing idea. I got these two practically permanent lip stains right here. I have one in the shade Booked and Busy. Booked and Busy. Like Booked and Busy. And Miss Berry right here. I'm going to add them to my lips now so we can just see what that looks like and have them kind of staining my lips as I do the makeup. So this is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. Very sleek. And that is what it looks like. So this is in the shade Miss Berry. And then we have the shade right here, same packaging, in Booked and Busy. It's that top one. It's a little bit more orangey. I'm going to go ahead and add that one kind of all over. So I don't know if you guys ever got like the Revlon lip stains when you were little, but these are very similar to that. And I put the berry one right there in the center of my lips, kind of. I'm going to see how that wears out because I think I'm going to end up doing a little bit of a lighter lip than what's going on right now. But that's how it looks now. It looks like a lip stain. It feels like a lip stain. It is a lip stain. And now I'm going to go ahead and just go in with the liquid eyeliner which I have right here. It's an eyeliner marker. And let's see how good this is at making some lines. Uh, this is what the marker looks like. Kind of similar packaging to the lip, the lip one, except it is white. I'm just gonna go ahead. Okay. Okay, so I just kind of connected them right there. Okay, it's a vibe. I would say I probably would not choose this over my favorite liquid liner, but it is good. It's not a bad liquid liner at all. I just don't know if I would choose it over my normal one. I am going to... I feel like I need to add more stuff. Like this is so by thought. So I'm going to start highlighting with the highlighters in this palette. I'm going to take this shade right here now i believe she did actually have like actual highlighters in her collection but i did not buy them all right so i think i'm gonna move on from the eyes because we still well the eyeshadow because we still have a lot to do so i'm gonna go ahead i have two mascaras i have the two flourishing mascaras in midnight black I have the volumizing mascara and the lengthening mascara. This is the volumizing right here. Here is the lengthening. And they're both kind of the same packaging right there. The name done kind of like a constellation. So I think I'm going to add the volumizing on the top, which is this one. Ooh, that's really cool. This mascara is really, really interesting. I like how it, it kind of looks like a little spaceship. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and add this one on my top lash. I'm not going to curl my lashes because I still want to apply those falsies that she has. But we're going to go ahead and see how this works. So again, this is the volumizing one. Okay, it's not chunky at all. Wow. Like whatsoever. This is how the brush looks, by the way. It's kind of like wavy. They don't, they look 
like a little bit more voluminous. You can see right there. I can see it. I can see it definitely. And then I'm going to add the lengthening one. On the bottom lashes, same exact packaging. Hopefully I don't get them mixed up when I do my makeup next time. And I'm going to add that on my bottom lashes. Very different brush. It's kind of like those very thin bristles. I definitely see how it kind of is making my lashes look a little bit longer. Yeah, the mascaras work really well. I definitely think I might be gravitating towards some of them because it looks very natural, very like fluffy. I don't have the best lashes, but I think that they work pretty well. A little bit of a drier formula on both of them, which if you like that, you like that. And if you don't, you don't. The last things we have are all lip products. Yes, we have this matte lipstick. And then we have this plumping lip glosses right here. Okay, so I have my water right here. Mm. Okay, so a little bit of the lip sync got on the top, but I kind of was trying to rub it off, so I like, uh, okay. So a little bit of the stain is coming off, but nothing crazy. I definitely think that this could last a while. I love the usage of lip stains underneath a lipstick. So if I was going to do a red lip and I put this underneath, my red lip would last. Super cool packaging. Super magnetic. It's kind of like a little baby astronaut. So I think as far as packaging go, this is the one that's like the coolest. A very matte kind of finish to it and it says Rem Beauty. So we're going to go ahead and apply this lipstick. So again, this is in the shade Drive-In Movie. Straight out the bat, reminds me of a MAC matte lipstick. The smell is like a matte, a MAC MAC lip, matte MAC lipstick. MAC cosmetic, MAC cosmetic. It smells exactly like it. The only thing is, is it goes on a lot smoother than it does. It doesn't have as much pull, which makes me think that this will not stay as well as a MAC matte lipstick. So that's how the blotting looks. So it definitely can come off. Beautiful color. I don't know if I would be using this color. I feel like it doesn't look the best on me. But it is beautiful. So go ahead and drink some water for you guys. Again, I'm trying to take it off. Okay, so you definitely have some lipstick coming off there. Now we're going to go ahead and try the lip glosses, and then we're almost done. Okay, so I do need to mention something. I went with this wipe, and I wiped away the lipstick, but it seems to not have wiped away, you know, all of the lip stain. So we're going to go ahead and try on these lip glosses right here. I have two of the lip plumping lip glosses I have in the shade Chucky which is this beautiful purple and then I also have the shade roll up so we're gonna go with Chucky first because I think it's so cool beautiful packaging kind of like it's that kind of like plastic packaging but it's super cute it matches the vibe so I'm gonna go ahead oh I was expecting it to be like a pull out one this is what it looks like this is reminding me of my early years as a young child you go ahead and add this beautiful reflex wow okay so everything about this experience that i just had with this reminds me of like my young childhood days when i had like those lip glosses from like claire's that were like this but the quality of the lip gloss is not like that I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off though. The roll up is the same thing. I got it because it looked so beautiful and like dark. And I wanted to see it's a matte dark brown berry. Mmm. 
Okay, this one has that mint flavor, but it kind of, I don't know if it's maybe just like a illusion. But it's almost more vanilla-y, chocolatey. Do I feel these plumping my lips? That's another thing. No, I don't. At least there's no automatic feeling of them plumping my lips. But this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's not very glossy. These glosses aren't very glossy. These glosses seem more like they're ready to last rather than like adding a lot of shine. If that makes any sense. So I will talk about these lashes really, really quick. I love the volume and the added length that they add. You see how like this is like that? And then right there on the outer corner, they just add a little bit more. I like that. I love when lashes are a bit more extreme on the outer corner. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these, cut them, and apply them. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I applied the lashes. So these are the lashes. They are absolutely beautiful. Honestly, I probably will gravitate towards them. They're definitely more for a natural glam look. I obviously am not trying to go for a natural glam look. But they are beautiful and they work beautiful with what I did anyways. Um, I'm just going to give you guys my final, final thoughts. Okay, so on the eyeshadow palette, eyeshadows are all beautiful. I think that the shimmers, they could have done more with them. They're not like anything crazy. They're not like super shiny. They're just like, I don't know. I think that the mattes in here are absolutely beautiful. Just, I think that they could have done more, and I do know that they have another eyeshadow palette. I just chose this one, which maybe was my fault. So, lip stains, beautiful, work perfectly. Mascaras, my dog's licking herself, I'm sorry. She's licking her leg, so don't like think anything crazy. Mascaras, super duper nice. I definitely like the way that they look. Lip stains, super beautiful. These eyeshadows are gorgeous. I'm definitely want to play more with these. Um, they dry down pretty, like, like they're not going to move. So we're going to see how that works. Lipstick is beautiful. Not my shade, but beautiful. Lip glosses are really, really nice. I absolutely love this one. I like that it's very unique. The only thing is the applicator I don't like. I think that it doesn't allow you to have precision to apply the lip gloss where you want it. So I, I just used my finger and just tapped it on my lips. Um... Eyelashes, again, amazing. The only item that I probably maybe don't recommend, if you already have a favorite liquid liner, I don't think you need this one. If you do a very, like, basic, just little doo -doo triangle wing every day, go ahead and use this. I actually had to use my, my liquid liner for this inner corner part. I started it, and it was just going crazy with this one. So that's the only thing. I think if you, if you like doing, like, graphic liner graphic designs i don't think that this is the liner for you definitely stick with whatever you normally use um honestly overall though this is a beautiful collection and the packaging of these are beautiful like the detail the packaging is absolutely beautiful i do love the space theme that she has going on it just makes me feel really cool to use these items but yeah this is the completed look, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any specific questions about any products, you can go ahead and ask me. Because I always feel like I forget to like mention little things about the products. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave the questions down below. Or DM me, or anything. I will answer them for you. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.